Hello, if <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <coughs> oh, dear me. Oh, God, don't tell me I got a cold. Don't tell me I got badger flu. <laughs> Oh, I did it. See, I got muscles. <laughs> right. <clears throat> That's enough showing off of my muscles. So, <clears throat> hello everyone and welcome to the video. Hope you're all doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite Christmas films. Is it Christmas? I thought it was Easter. Don't know where I've been hiding. So yeah, Christmas films. So yeah, I tend to like all the old Christmas films. I don't like the new Christmas films. They, they chug out every single year now. Like Nativity 1000 and fucking Daddy's Home 2. And fucking Bad, Bad Moms. Oh, let's get bad for Christmas. <laughs> oh, God in heaven. <sighs> so yeah, favourite Christmas films. Uh, what should we start off with? Scrooged. Oh, what a fantastic film Scrooged is. Yeah, Scrooged. If you haven't seen Scrooged, bloody hell. It's just brilliant. Yeah, basically it's a modern take on um, on Scrooge. You know, with, with Bill Murray. Yeah, so Bill Murray is like a really arrogant prick of a... TV executive and he's doing like a special for uh, for screws like a big special and he gets on and, and he gets visited by three ghosts so yeah his boss his boss just bursts through the door when he's asleep bursts through the door and he goes and he's got all he's got he's, he's got his like his golf club and he's got all rats in him he's all rotten he goes oh we that was a good one. And he war and he warns Frank that he's gonna be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty 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 funny. And Bill Murray <laughs> What I like about Bill Murray, he has he has this he plays really horrible pricks. But he's so likable it's, it's Brilliant. You know, he has that ability to make such horrible characters likable. You know, and, and I mean, Bill Murray, one of the greatest, you know, greatest comedy act comedians of all time. You know, you know, he built up that Saturday Night Live scene back in the early 80s. Just fucking brilliant. You know, Ghostbusters is brilliant. Grand Dog Day is brilliant. Just, you know, just brilliant in it it's just uh, excuse me sir yes what does that ad have to do with christmas nothing why you you, you can't show that at christmas why not because it, it looks like christmas with the madsons <laughs> oh god just oh i just i just love this film it's just oh, the quotes for me, you know. That's what's that's what's missing with modern films. You know, you can't quote anything from it. With the old films, you can just quote everything from the film. You know. <laughs> it's like, Relax, Frank. You see, Frank, I'm the ghost. Go back to Jersey, you moron. <laughs> Fucking David Johansson. As the ghost of Christmas past is just brilliant. Since Frank, garden slugs had more life in them than you. <laughs> and the ghost of Christmas present. You see, Frank, I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Poof! You touch me again. I'm gonna rip your goddamn wings off. <laughs> oh, it's just. Oh, it's just. It's just absolutely. 
brilliant. And of course, it, and of course, in the end, he becomes a lot nicer. It's, a, it's sort of a bit like it's sort of a bit like Graham Dog Day, I guess. That sort of like, he, you know, he's he is a prick, you know, in it he's a prick, and then he sort of changes his changes his ways, you know, because. Because, I mean, for me, the true, the true meaning of Christmas is, for me, you know, goodwill to everyone all year round, not just at Christmas. You know, you know, don't just be a good person at Christmas. Be a good person all year round. You know, that's you know that's that's my motto anyway. I think, you know, I think. I think Charles Dickens, I think that's what Charles Dickens was, for me, was trying to say, really. You know? It's like, don't be, don't change him, don't be good at Christmas. Just be nice all year round. You know, you might like it, you know? You know, I do, we got enough fucking horrible people in the world. We need more, we need more nicer people, you know? We really do. So yeah, Scrooge just, just hilarious, just you know, brilliant. And if you'd like Bill Murray, you'd love it, you know. So yeah, Scrooge. Yeah, uh, next one, Jingle All the Way. Yeah, I know it's not. It is. I wouldn't say it's a great. It's not. It isn't a great film, really. But it's just, it's just that bad. It's good, really. You know. <laughs> You know, yeah. If you haven't seen Jingle Away, basically Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's a he's a bit of a he's a bit of a workaholic, and he doesn't find enough time to spend time with his family, particularly his son. And his son's a bit, you know. So and he's like, I get you whatever you want for Christmas. I want the Turbo Man. Fine, I'll get you the Turbo Man. So. So then, of course, he's trying to get the most popular toy, and he can't get it. And he's got this fucking mailman rival. He's called, he's called Sinbad. I think that's his name, Sinbad. That sounds like a fucking husky dog, Sinbad. That is your name, Sinbad. You know, and they spend most of the film chasing, trying to get the Turbo Man. <laughs> <laughs> and you got Phil Hartman in there, you know. Good old rest in peace, Phil Hartman. Just, just brilliant. So, so obnoxious, you know. <laughs> it's like the the one particular scene. He's Arnie he rings his wife. He goes, "What?" He goes, "What are you doing in my house? It's my wife. Oh, she's in the shower. Do you want me to go and check? No, don't check. No, that's fine." I said, I'm going to be late. I need to find the turbo man. And he, <laughs> and he starts eating the cookies and he goes, Put that cookie down! Now! And Howard, are you getting stressed out? Because this is a very stressful time for some people. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then the one scene, it's like they got all these... You got, you got like, basically, it's like... Like, um... Basically, it's like fucking Boxing Day. Nine o'clock in the morning with all these fucking crazy fuckers buying more stuff. Don't get that at all. People on boxing, they go and ain't going shopping. Haven't you got enough fucking presents? You greedy bastards. So it's like that. One particular scene, it's like they're all lined up trying to get a turbo man. It's like, right, you have to have this ball. Number, whatever. And then it gets, it go, it disappears. And then this little girl gets it, and then he goes into the balls, like, you know, play area. And then he gets his task getting hit with handbags. He goes, I'm not a pervert. I was just looking for the double man. Just, it's just fucking, it is daft. Just, just, and he's just fucking completely chewing up the scenery. <laughs> and yeah, and at the end, and at the end, he, he fucking, he ends up being... On the, on the, on the, um, what do you call it? Say a carnival. And he ends up being the Turbo Man. Which is, yeah, it is, it is daft. But I just love quoting from it. 
<laughs> Put that cookie down! Now! It's in my house, it's in my cookies, with my life. <laughs> Just fucking hell. So yeah, jingle all the way. Yeah, uh... Muppet Christmas Carol. Just... Incredible, incredible version of, uh... Of Christmas Carol. It's just, oh, it's probably, it's probably my favourite version of Christmas Carol. Just fucking hell. You can't beat the Muppets. Just, you know, you just, you just can't. Just like, oh, I love the Muppets. Just, oh, incredible. Michael Caine, just brilliant in it. And the songs, brilliant. The songs are brilliant. The songs make, the songs make me, they, they make you feel, they make me feel really jolly and happy. You know, you like this. Putting your head along to the songs is just, oh, it's just fucking brilliant. They just don't make films like that no more. Just brilliant. It's a Wonderful Life. Just incredible. Head of its time. You know, head of its time. So, yeah, so basically, uh, James Stewart, he sort of he, he saw had a breakdown, you know, with his his father's business and and stuff and he wants to kill him he wants to kill himself you know he feels he's not nobody loves him he doesn't feel he doesn't feel um worthy so basically so basically it's a it's a bit like back to the future it's like what would happen if george bailey james stewart's character didn't exist and the town is just horrible. It's just a, it's just a mess. So you know, so it 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 it's sort of like makes it sort of shows that he's an, he's important. You know, I I mean, when I'm depressed, I feel like that. I don't. I feel you do feel like that. I can relate to it. If like when I'm depressed, I feel like that. And then you sort of. Sort of thinking, well, you you sort of make a list in your head, like that people would would miss, that people that would miss you. So it is it, sort it's sort of it's it's it is a very. I notice how with Christmas films, a lot of them are very they're very melancholic and sad. You know, it, it, it's wonderful. It, it 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 is one of those films that makes you think. You know, it, it, don't get me wrong. It is a, it is fun. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun in it, but it does. It's a very it's a it's, it's a very heavy subject matter. You know, depression and, and suicide. It's a very, you know, for its time. I mean, it came out in 1946, and it's dealing with depression and suicide. Just, it's just, it's just fucking it's just it's just wow it's just mind-blowing you know absolutely and it and it, and it, it, it does what it, it couldn't bring tears to your eyes that film you know it's, it, it's just just incredible you know incredible incredible film and, it, and if you haven't seen it just you watch it Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, it's a wonderful life. Um, Home Alone, of course. Home Alone. What can we? If you haven't seen Home Alone, well, I don't know what fucking rock you've been living under, or what planet you come from, but Home Alone. Just, oh my god, so much fun. John Hughes. I mean, is it John Hughes that done that? Or wrote that, or was it Chris Columbus? I don't know, but either one of the two, brilliant. You know, basically, if you haven't seen it, Macaulay Culkin is home alone because there's too many of those, <laughs> too many little fuckers to count. It's <laughs> just too many of them. Because so Joe Pesci says, "Hey, kid, do you live here? Kid, do you live here? Kid, 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 kid what's going on here?" It's like ah. 
<laughs> he's like, you know, and he's left home alone. And then, of course, you've got the wet bandits going around nicking for Christmas, nicking Christmas presents and stuff. And the one guy leaves the taps on, hence the wet bandits. And Macaulay Culkin just fucking, fucking destroys him with all the pranks. He's <laughs> like, the white face with the sp spider on his, on his face, on his face. He goes, ah! <laughs> and then the spider ends up on Joe Pesci. He fucking, he goes, ma Marv, Marv, ah, fuck. Well, not fuck, because it's a PG film. He goes, oh, God, of and the and the one with the part with the fan, he's all got feathers on him. <laughs> he got all feathers on him. <laughs> he goes, and they go, why did you take your shoes off? Why are you dressed like a chicken? <laughs> and and then that old and then that got that film. It was it. Um, it's like a parody of an old gangster film. He goes. Uh, <laughs> he puts it on. He puts he puts it on Macaulay Culkin because of because of the wet bands. He puts it on, puts it on. He goes, "How much do I owe you? I'm giving you so many things to get your keys to off my property." <laughs> and he starts shooting. He shit the man shits himself. <laughs> he goes, "Keep and then keep your change, you filthy animal." Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, all Malone. Funny as fuck. Don't it just be it just oh you know, just the mention of it just brings a smile to my face. It's just really, 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 really good fun, all Malone. Just brilliant. And I think we'll end with Die Hard. Oh yes, Die Hard is a Christmas film. Oh yes it is. Anybody debating that it's not that it's not a Christ it's not a Christmas film, get your fucking head examined. It is a Christmas film. John McLean is visiting his wife in the Nakatomi Plaza on Christmas Eve. If that's not a Christmas film, you know, and you've got Run DMC Christmas and Hollis playing in the background, just, you know, it is a Christmas film. It's, and, it's fan, and it's just, what can we say about Die Hard, you know? At that time, it was the benchmark for all great action films. Just incredible. You know, I wouldn't say I'm. I wouldn't say I love Bruce Willis, but Die Hard, just brilliant. You know, the first one. You can't beat the first one. The f second one is it's okay. The third one is pretty good. The fourth and fifth one are complete and utter fucking shit. Fucking crap. Awful. Don't bother. But the first one, brilliant. You know, Alan Rickman, as, as Hans Gruber, just absolutely chilling. You know, just absolutely horrible, cunning bad guy. You know, Alan Rickman, great actor. He knew how to play bad guys, I tell you. Just ab absolute natural. You know, incredible. Incredible and... I mean, what, can, what, what else can we say about Die Hard? You know, it's just, you know, just brilliant. The action is brilliant in it. Bruce Willis is, he sort of, he sort of starts out as pretty, I would say vulnerable. You know, he's pretty, he's pretty green, he's pretty vulnerable, and then he, and then he just completely fucking shows up those terrorists. He just does, you know. And the and and all the great quotes for me, you know, you know. So, who's driving this car, Stevie Wonder? Welcome to the party, pal. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh, oh, oh! I got a machine gun. <coughs> oh God, dear me. <coughs> oh God, I think I got a cold. Oh dear me! Yeah, way things are gonna be wearing my fucking parker in you. 
like it like it fucking did yesterday, it looked like a fucking Eskimo it did. Yeah, it literally had a parker on with a fucking hood up. So I look so I look like I'm so I look like I'm in the North fucking pole. So yeah, so yeah, die hard. Just just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. I mean it's probably other films I could think of, but they're the ones that stick out for me. They just they just do. So yeah. So yeah, I think I'll yeah, leave it there. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.